a few months ago I made a video on the three shirt colors that every man should have. Um, <clears throat> need some water. Jesus. <clears throat> Much better. I was saying that I did a video in the past about the three shirt colors that every man should have. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere up here and I'll also include it in the description. The three shirt colors were white, light blue, and a combination of the two. Ever since I discovered Spie and McKay, I've been getting all my shirts from them. I started getting my shirts from them off the rack. And one thing about shirts that I always preach is that the collar point should be long enough to fit nicely under the jacket's lapels. The off the rack shirts from Spie and McKay, the collar points measure around three and a quarter. Three and a quarter is really the minimum collar point that you really want to go for if you want for the collar points to fit nicely under the lapel. So those shirts definitely did the job, but I like my collar points even longer than that. So the only way to really accomplish that was by using their made to order program, which is their custom shirt program. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the Spie and McKay custom shirt program and we'll do an unboxing of my latest three shirts that I got from them. Intro. So as I was saying before, the reason why I really wanted to try the Spie & McKay custom shirt program was so I could have longer collar points. But not only that, when it comes to the off the rack shirts, Spie & McKay shirts come in three different styles. They have the extra slim, they have the slim fit, and they have the contemporary. So a guy like me can never fit in an extra slim fit, so that option is out for me. So the first shirt that I tried from them off the rack was the contemporary fit. Uh, it was a really good fit, but I do like my shirts a little bit closer to my body, you know what I'm saying? So after that, I tried the slim fit. The slim fit was a little too tight, like it fit, but I wasn't as comfortable as I would love to be. So it's like I was in between the contemporary and the slim fit. So the next option was to go custom, because when you go custom, you can increase different sizes. Like for example, you can choose slim fit, but you can make the waist a little bit bigger. You can make the chest one inch bigger, you know what I'm saying? Without actually going contemporary. So I chose the same slim fit size that I usually wear and I just added about an inch to the chest and to the, to the waist. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. a custom shirt right now actually from Spear McKay but the one that I'm wearing the collar points are I believe three and five eighths but I like my collar points even longer than that so these are three and three quarter inches and I think one of them is four inches if I remember correctly so let me take a look at my order because I don't remember exactly what I'm doing. Alright so we're going to start with the light blue. This fabric is what's called the sky blue fine twill and the collar is a C21, which is their large Italian spread. Now, as you can see, the collar points are really, really long on these. They're 3.75 inches, which is really, really nice. One thing that I did is got a monogram on all the shirts. I love monogram on my shirts, but I hate monograms when they're on the cuffs. You know what I mean? That's one thing that I spoke about in one of my prior videos. Um, I don't remember which one. I think it was the Seven Style Mistakes. Yeah, that's it. In the seven, no, actually, no, it wasn't the Seven Style Mistakes. Um, oh, it was in my video, the Useless Men's Wear. <laughs> top five useless men's wear. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, where I talk about how one of my pet peeves is when people put their monograms on their cuffs, you know what I mean? So I do like monogram, just not on the cuffs. So what I did was, I think for this one, I went with a navy monogram. Yeah, there you go, I went with navy. Uh, so you can see right here, I have the monogram on here. It says VR in um, the navy. So that's it for the first shirt. Uh, let's get to the second one. So this one is the white shirt. And this fabric is the same exact fabric as in the blue shirt. 
Um, this is called their White Fine Twill. Both of these fabrics were only $79. Once I added the monogram, they were $81. The color that I went with for this one is the C19. This color is very similar to the C21. It's also called the Large Tagging Spread, and the color points are also 3.75 inches. When it comes to white shirts, I like the monograms to also be white, just like the shirt. You know, that way it's not really standing out too much if I happen to have my jacket off, you know what I mean? Because white is more of a classic color. So with this one, the monogram is a little bit harder to see because the monogram and the shirt are the same exact color. So this is my second one. And last but not least, this is the combination of the two colors. This color is called the Sky Blue Pencil Stripe. And the reason why it's called a pencil stripe is because the stripes are very, very fine, as opposed to a bangle stripes where the stripes are a little bit thicker. Uh, with this one, I also went with the C21 collar, but I made it four inches as opposed to 3.75 inches, you know what I'm saying? Another option that I picked for this particular shirt is the cool foot stitch on the button. So there's an upcharge for that. I don't recall exactly how much the upcharge was, but it was something like $10 or something like that. And um, this fabric is actually the most expensive fabric out of the three shirts. This one was a $90 fabric as opposed to $80 for the other two. I also got the monogram on these for an additional $2. The monograms are also white. And yeah, this one has the four inch collar. Now, one great thing about custom shirts is you can add a few different options. So for example, I asked for the shirts to be pre-washed prior to cutting them. That way they don't shrink after I wash them. Another thing that I did was I made all the left cuffs bigger to accommodate my watch because I don't like when the sleeve get caught on the watch. I wear a really low profile watch, but somehow the sleeve still get caught up in it. So I like to make the left cuff a little bigger. That way it slides right over the watch. You know what I'm saying? So that's something that I did add. And speaking of the monogram from before, on the website, there's not an option to add the monogram to the left torso, which is where I have all my monograms. So I also included that in the notes along with the pre washing of the fabric and making the left cuff bigger and also I do have a drop shoulder so one of the sleeves I made it quarter inch longer so those are great options when you're buying custom shirts that you can never get off the rack now one great thing about Spear and McKay if you buy three or more shirts you can get $20 off for each shirt so instead of the shirt starting at 79 the shirts will start at 59 So you can get three shirts for under $180. That's a really hard deal to pass up. Where else can you buy three custom shirts made to your specifications under $60 a shirt? And that's really, really hard to beat. And to make it even sweeter, if you've never used Spear and McKay before, I have a 20% off code that's included in the description that you can add on top of the bundle or on top of the single shirt if that's the way that you choose to do it. You know what I'm saying? But by adding it on top of the bundle, you would get three shirts for $144. That's less than $50 a shirt for a custom shirt, you know what I mean? That's ridiculous if you ask me. So I'm also going to make a video on how the shirts fit so you can see exactly what they look like, but this one is just the unboxing. The next one will show you exactly how the contemporary shirt fit me. I'm going to show you also how the slim shirts fit, and then I'm going to try on this shirt so you can see the difference. So that was the unboxing of my three custom shirts from Spear and McKay. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.